So I think you've noticed I like to talk mostly about femme models. But this model is kind of too great not to talk about. So I am making an exception. He's a man who hardly needs an introduction. In fact, in a rare shoe on the other foot situation, this model is way more famous than the portraitist who captured his likeness. Actors are like that. Most of this model's work as an actor was done on the ephemeral stage of the 1800s. We can't watch him play Othello or Richard III or Shylock, but there is one role that he is still playing every day at the Art Institute of Chicago, and you can see him do it. This is Ira Aldrich. So John Simpson was a talented portraitist. He wasn't famous. He was actually the studio assistant of Sir Thomas Lawrence, who was a much bigger deal, and oh man, one of these days, we are going to talk about him. So, John Simpson, not really a household name today, but he did find success within his lifetime as a portraitist. He had a fairly large practice, he exhibited often at the Royal Academy, and was even the official portraitist to the Queen of Portugal. But, he has one painting that has only recently resurfaced into popularity. In 1827, that's 20 years after slavery was abolished in England and around 40 years before it was abolished in the United States, John Simpson painted the captive slave. Ira Aldrich was born free in New York City, New York in 1807. His father was a reverend, and he attended the African Free School and grew up to become an actor. If you don't know who Ira Aldrich is, um, let me just summarize what I'm about to tell you and say he was a very good actor. So while he was born in the United States, and he had some of his first acting experiences at some of the first African-American theaters established in the country. After 1824, almost all of Ira's career was in England and Europe. He was known for doing just incredible Shakespearean work. He was the first black man to play Othello, which you probably already know is a role that was traditionally played by white men and blackface up to Lord, 1981. Woof. Bet Anthony Hopkins wishes he could take that one back. Of course, in another shoe on the other foot situation, Ira played European roles like Richard III in Whiteface. While Ira's skill as an actor was unquestionable, and his long and illustrious career reflects that. He was absolutely no stranger to oppression. Critics, particularly in his early London career, made a lot of hay about how he pronounced the text. One critic found him not dark enough to play Othello, which, good grief. One London publication was so scandalized by Ira being a black man on stage with a white actress that it sought to drive him from the stage. Look, if I could invent a time machine, I'd wanna go back and see him play Shylock. If you don't know Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare, Shylock is the villain, the Jewish villain. And honestly, the play is pretty rough on him, but Shakespeare does give us one instance in the whole play in which Shylock talks about his own oppression. I am a Jew. Hath not a Jew eyes? Hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, and healed with the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer. As a Christian is, if you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? I just, I would have liked to see Ira do it. I can't. The role I can see him play, however, is the role of the captive slave in John Simpson's painting. 
Now this painting had not been displayed publicly for 180 years when the Art Institute of Chicago acquired it in 2008. In it, Simpson tried to capture a man's yearning for freedom, really in the style of old Christian iconography. He painted Ira like a martyred saint. I like to think that just the beautiful work Ira does modeling in this painting is a small taste of what it must have been like to watch him play those great tragic roles on stage, while also knowing that in 1827, Ira is posing in this painting 40 years before many of his African-American brethren will be emancipated.